Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. My name is Gary and on this video just wanted to kind of show you some um, of what we have at the back of the shop. It's not often seen in the videos on this channel. Now I have a second channel where I show a lot of the behind the scenes and you know the issues and just kind of the day-to-day -day shop life kind of thing. Uh, and if you're interested in following us on that channel, I'll have a link in the description and I'll put one in the cards on the screen as well. Uh, just be warned though, there's a lot of drama, a lot of issues, uh, clickbait, you know, people get all worked up about stuff, so um, just know that there's uh, more sort of unedited footage on that channel, but if you're interested in that, go check it out. Uh, so you can see behind me, we've got the uh, Quincy uh, rotary air compressor. It's a 10 horsepower, 120 gallon tank uh, with a built-in dryer. Uh, behind me here, you guys may recognize this one from the garage. and. All the painting videos, we got it plumbed in as well, and then we've got the dust collection system uh, here to my right and other stuff on down. Um, and I've got some footage that I took from back sometime in the summer or even the spring where we built this lean-to and uh, put the compressor, the larger compressor in place. So I'm going to show you that now and we'll come back and kind of go over some of the details. sensitive when you
All right, well, you saw we got the lean tube built. Um, and this is just basically some pressure treated uh, four by fours and some two by sixes uh, running along there. And, you know, the span uh, between these is, a, I think those are two by six by twelves. <clears throat> and the span is, I don't know if the sun's kind of backlit here, but they're already starting to bow a little bit, even just under their own weight, because there's really no weight on them. Those, you know, panels don't really weigh anything. They're 26 gauge or whatever they are. Um, so we might have to come back and address that at some point, but so far it seems to be holding up okay. And as I mentioned on the other channel, we had a lot of drama with this concrete and I had videos on that. Um, had lots and lots of drama on getting this to up and running. We had ants get in and, and mess up the contactor and it was down for a month because of that. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of do a quick review on the electrical. Um, you see, we got a, a shut off switch here and you see the number six wires coming in uh, for the three phase, you know, pretty uh, large beefy setup here for a 60 amp breaker on the inside. Um, and so, um, yeah. And then they give you, I've, I've seen other videos on other compressors. They all pretty much do the same thing. They, they put this panel up here or a piece of paper taped like this. And when you power up the, the unit for the first time, you're supposed to see that paper fly up. And if you don't, you shut it off quickly and you have to reverse your wires here on the three phase just flip two of them because you got your motor running backwards but um back in here um you can see that the back of the dryer is where your air comes out and i had this hose made up at a hydraulic hose place and it's a three quarter inch id um coming up to a junction block here and then we convert over to the rapid air blue lines and those go inside the shop and you can see the blue lines coming in um we got one going to a motor guard uh, filter and to a hose reel. And then the other line coming off of that compressor uh, routes over this way and comes over and runs along down over to the plasma table over here. And excuse the mess I've got to clean up in here today. Boxes and crap in the way. Um, so we're, we're feeding one hose reel and the plasma cutter and then another hose reel up, up there off of the one compressor and then the uh, traditional uh, upright tank uh, piston compressor we got a separate line coming in for that and on this one we just go to the hose reel now I know best practice would be that those uh, routes get closed loop meaning they route back into each other so you have a circular motion uh, alright guys that's it uh, we'll wrap up the video now I'm just gonna mention real quick about um, this compressor on the uh, upright um, piston type versus the rotary. A lot of people have concerns about the rotary and it is true that they're, they're not as good at uh, doing intermittent use, you know. They're, they're really a continuous duty type compressor. Um, they don't like to come on for a minute and then shut off, you know. So um, eventually though in the shop with a plasma cutter and then having another uh, employee or two here, you know, we'll get to the point where this is running all the time. But they, um, what Quincy does is they give you some built-in protection against issues with that. This will not uh, fire up more than four times in an hour. And how they do that is when it does come on, it runs for a minimum of 15 minutes. So even when the tank fills up after it's full, if you're not using it, it'll just bleed off air and continue to run the compressor uh and uh for 15 minutes and then um of course if you've used it down it'll continue to run so we'll go ahead and get it fired up here and uh, get on about the day